did whatever you want in the game. Grand Theft Auto is fun. You drive around, you beat the crap out of people, you can steal cars. I flip the cars. I set them on fire. You can drive on the sidewalk and stop at all the stop signs and obey all the traffic laws. I mean, it's really fun. It's probably the best game. Farrah and I play it all the time. This game may not have invented being a bad guy, but it sure took it to a whole new place. And what better place in time to pretend to be a bad guy than Miami? Oops, I mean Vice City in the 1980s, where carjacking was invented and drug lords were kings. If the cool 80s look reminds you of Miami Vice, well, it's supposed to. Philip Michael Thomas even shows up in a pastel suit. Miami Vice is the big influence there. You can see it in the fashions, the speedboats, all of that kind of stuff that you saw in Miami Vice, you see in Vice City. But the story of Vice City's hero, Tommy Versetti, is even closer to the story of another 80s bad guy icon. He starts out as a small-time drug dealer, and he works his way up to be Vice City real estate magnate and drug lord. And that mirrors the story of Tony Montana and Scarface. That's right, Scarface. The rags-to-riches gangster fable beloved by hip-hop artists everywhere. If you thought Tommy Versetti's Vice City mansion looked a little familiar, maybe it's because you've actually seen something an awful lot like it. And check out Tommy's office. With the security monitors, looks a lot like Tony Montana's. And did this scene in Scarface ever leave you wondering what the bathroom must have looked like afterwards? Well, just head over to Vice City's apartment 3C and you'll find out. And finally, this may not look exactly like Scarface, but we just couldn't resist going out with a bang. Shout out to my little friend!